Welcome to beautiful Los Angeles, California. We're back here in downtown Lincoln Park. And what is the saying? If you snooze, you lose. And I lost. I came down here and they already lifted up the train back on the track. As you can see, business is back to normal. And there's some people walking around. I think that's the news crew. But I want to say thank you so much for watching the other video. The 1,000 stolen packages from the train tracks. I really appreciate it. This is a little update. I swear it's not going to be as long as the other one. So check it out. What is the saying? When you snooze, you lose. Last night I thought I should have come here. Maybe they're going to put the train back on the track at night. And I was right. I came here this morning and everything is back to normal. They actually lift up the train back onto the track last night. I wanted to come here, but then I thought, oh, I don't want to come here at one o'clock in the morning. But I should have. My gut feeling told me to come here and I snoozed, I lose. That's how life is. What? Another crash? What was that? Looks like business is back to normal. Here he comes, the choo-choo train. Union Pacific, the yellow one, I love those. And as you can see, the news is still here. Looks like they cut one open already. How come this container is already open? Did they try already to take all the packages out? This one is open as well. I think you can open the ones on the bottom. There's really no space to open the doors. I think it's coming to a stop right here. And I guess this is the chance that people take to jump on the train and try to open the containers. Oh, the train is coming backwards, both of them. Traffic is back to normal. Like I said, it happened right here. That's a cool picture. You definitely gotta watch out for the bob wire. They're razor sharp. I love those big trains. I don't know why since I was a kid. Makes me happy to look at them. Even Channel 5 tries to get some footage here. Property, city of Los Angeles. All the graffiti comes with the territory, I guess. But now that the big train is gone, you can see the tracks better. What is so fascinating to look at a train coming into the station? See, this artwork is going everywhere. It's been seen. Thousands of people can see it, but some of them you can't even read. Mm -hmm. 
Can you read it? Reminds me of the movie Beat Street. He just picked up some packages there. SUVs, this is police. I think it rained a little bit last night. Brand new chair, just gotta assemble it. An extra bass, boombox. <laughs> There's my ride. So these guys were just walking along the track, making sure there's nothing blocking the track. And they're picking up all the hazard stuff. They have like a special bucket. They cleaned up the area right there already. And they moved some of the trash to the side. Probably gonna pick it up. More news trucks. That's a good picture here with downtown in the background. Some people wrote in the comments that I encourage people to come here and take packages. First, you have to know where it is. And second of all, the packages are all empty already. You're a little late for that. So I don't encourage anybody. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Brand new braking pads. And oh no, look at all those Betty White's newspapers and magazines laying on the track. Today is Betty White's 100th birthday. Happy birthday, Betty. Rest in peace. Probably have to get out of here. It starts raining right now. It never rains in Southern California. That's wrong too. Well, now you can see it better with no train here. You got a drone flying up there pretty fast. I guess he's a local resident. He's cleaning up here. Picked up the portrait I saw yesterday. It's probably gonna send it back to the family. Those are some really nice UPS bags from Grande Vista, California, Portland, Oregon. UPS ground, Portland, Oregon.
What? A machete. And like I said in my other video, sometimes by just driving around LA, you find places you never seen before. And you can take some really cool pictures, but it's probably not the best neighborhood here. It's a photographer's heaven. Twin towers with the downtown. No tires. But check this out. This makes an awesome picture. If you fix that one up, painted silver, mm, that's a beauty. And since I'm in downtown already, I can show you the new 6th Street Bridge, the old one they tear down. It was a really iconic bridge used in many movies. When the bridge is completed, it has 20 arches and each one takes 65 truckloads of concrete to make. And the whole bridge costs about $588 million. The bridge connects the art district with Boyle Heights. This is 4th Street Bridge. Does this area look familiar to you? This is where Madonna filmed the music video Borderline, right here. That's where Madonna was standing. And believe it or not, it's hard to see, but this is where the pool hall used to be at night. This is where Madonna walked at night to the pool hall. And then if you walk a little bit further down, this is where the pool hall used to be, where she tried to kiss the guy and that was the pole right here. What? Madonna was doing the borderline video right here in downtown LA. And if you don't know, now you know. This is 7th Street, downtown LA. That's what I came here for. I saw on TikTok that he built like a two-story encampment here. And the tomorrow they're going to clean up 7th Street and I heard they might gonna tear this one down, so I just wanted to come here and see how it looks like. It's like a two-story, bottom and top. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from downtown Los Angeles again from Lincoln Park. I wanted to go to uh, Skid Row right now and film something more because tomorrow they're gonna clean up 7th Street, but it looks like it's gonna start raining right now and I don't wanna be in the rain all day. Anyway, again, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Push the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. Tschüssing.